a bravery is universal. Today we delve into the life of this extraordinary woman, the first female admiral hailing from the Indonesian archipelago, whose legacy still echoes through the ages. Born in the late 16th century, in the heart of the Aceh Sultanate, the remarkable story of Kumala Hayati began. Her upbringing was steeped in the values of courage, honor, and resilience, virtues that would later define her remarkable career. A daughter of the Aceh Sultanate, she was cradled not just by her mother's arms, but by a society that valued strength and fearlessness. Her early life, though shrouded in the mists of history, hints at a person of determination, one who dared to defy conventional norms. She was a beacon of bravery in a world dominated by men, a shining example of female empowerment in an era where it was rare. Kumala Hayati's journey to becoming an admiral was far from ordinary. It began not in the battlefield, but in the bonds of matrimony. She was married to a prominent figure in the military, a man whose courage and duty inspired her own path. Yet her journey took an unexpected turn when she was widowed. In the face of loss, Kumala Hayati found a new purpose. She chose to join the military, a decision that set the stage for her historic rise. She was not just stepping into a man's world, she was stepping into her late husband's shoes, continuing his legacy while carving her own. Her entry into the military was met with skepticism by some, but Kumala Hayati was not deterred. She was driven by a resolve that was as steady as the tides, as fierce as the winds. She brought with her a fresh perspective, a woman's intuition, and a widow's determination. As she rose through the ranks, Kumala Hayati proved herself to be more than just a woman in uniform. She was a leader, commanding respect with her strategic acumen, her unwavering courage, and her ability to inspire those around her. From cadet to captain, from captain to commander, and finally from commander to admiral, Kumala Hayati's rise was rapid, but not without merit. Each promotion was a testament to her abilities, her dedication, and her leadership. She was not just rising in rank, she was rising above the doubts, the prejudices, the conventions. Her journey was a testament to the power of resilience and determination. It was a testament to the strength of a woman who dared to dream, who dared to lead, who dared to conquer. In a male-dominated military, Kumala Hayati was a beacon of hope and strength, proving that women too could lead and conquer. Her story is not just one of personal triumph, it is a story that challenges us to rethink our own perceptions of leadership and gender, because at the end of the day, it's not about who you are, but about what you can do. Admiral Kumala Hayati was not just an officer. She was a formidable force on the battlefield. Her courage and strategic brilliance were instrumental in turning tides in favor of the Aceh Sultanate. Her military achievements are nothing short of legendary, particularly her victories against the mighty Portuguese fleet, a naval force that was considered unbeatable at the time. Kumala Hayati's audacity on the battlefield was only matched by her innovative approach to warfare. She was a pioneer in the development of the Indonesian naval forces, laying the groundwork for a powerful maritime force that would serve the nation for centuries to come. But perhaps one of Kumala Hayati's most remarkable achievements was the creation of the Inong Bali. This was a special force comprised of widows who had lost their husbands in the war. Kumala Hayati turned these grieving women into fighters, transforming their pain into a formidable strength. Under her guidance, the Inong Bali became a force to be reckoned with, striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. Kumala Hayati was more than just a military leader. She was a symbol of resilience and bravery. She shattered societal norms and proved that women could lead, fight and win. Her victories were not just for the Aceh Sultanate, but for women everywhere, challenging the beliefs of the time and rewriting the narrative of what women were capable of. Her legacy is not just found in the annals of military history, but in the spirit of every woman who dares to challenge the status quo. Kumala Hayati's story is one of defiance, of courage, and of unyielding determination. It is a testament to the power of the human spirit and a reminder that heroes come in all forms. Kumala Hayati was a true hero, her victories echoing across the seas and inspiring generations, her life and achievements Continue to serve as a beacon, illuminating the path for all those who dare to dream big and fight for what they believe in. Kumala Hayati's impact transcended her lifetime, leaving a lasting legacy. She didn't just break barriers, she shattered them, 
creating a path for future generations to tread upon. Her courage, strength and leadership were recognized far and wide, earning her posthumous honors and recognition that have etched her name in the annals of history. In the years following her death, Kiuma Lahayati's influence extended, touching the lives of countless women who dared to step into the military world. Her story, her triumphs, became a beacon of hope and empowerment, inspiring women to challenge the status quo and strive for greatness. Beyond her influence on women in the military, Kiuma Lahayati played a pivotal role in shaping Indonesia's naval power. Her strategic acumen, her fearlessness in the face of adversity, set a benchmark for the nation's naval forces, reinforcing Indonesia's position as a formidable maritime power. Kumala Hayati's spirit of bravery and resilience continues to inspire us to this day. But what if Kumala Hayati hadn't achieved what she did? Imagine a world where the first female admiral's triumphs were merely figments of our imagination. The Indonesian Navy, for one, may have taken a different course. Without her formidable leadership, the naval forces might have lacked the strategic acumen that led to their numerous victories. The Archer Sultanate's fate could have been vastly different too. Her crucial role in defending the kingdom might have been absent, resulting in a possible early collapse of the Sultanate. And then there's the role of women in the military. Kumala Hayati was a pioneer, a shining beacon that proved women could excel in roles traditionally held by men. Without her, the path for women in the armed forces might have been much harder to tread. Kumala Hayati's life was a testament to the power of courage and determination. In a world without her achievements, we may not have been able to witness the true strength of a woman's spirit. Stay curious, stay informed, stay tuned to Era Shapers,